Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. Today is Thursday, October the 7th, 2010, and like we do every night, it's time to look at the markets. Check it out. Okay, before we get started, quick little announcement here. Yesterday, I talked about the three videos we made, each one about 20 minutes long, uh, discussing the Perfect Stock Alert method of technical analysis. And I got a lot of questions people asking where those at exactly. So let me show you right quick. On the PerfectStockAlert.com website, 100% free, you go there. Scroll on over here to the far right side. Ross over this here. Scroll over here. Recorded lessons. Click there and it'll take you to this page. Okay, this page right here. Scroll on down. You can see there's three videos there. We've got market analysis, how do you how to do that and why you do that and all that stuff. And here you got the selection process. And here you've got timing and quality. All right. Quality comparison to show you which opportunities you're looking at are better or which one's stronger and so forth and so on so that information is right there 100 percent free always available for you right there okay now let's get to the markets okay i'm going to start off today looking at a gold etf here i want to look at the ETFs because i want to spot that volume right there this volume behind today's selling activity is actually uh, one of the telltale signs of a peak so uh, you can still fight this around, but the, the main thing is somebody's getting out here, and that's important to note. Uh, she is overextended by all counts, and she you should expect a pullback uh, at least to this level. All right, uh, don't you know? I'm not trying. I'm not trying to trade this. I'm just saying this thing is rolling over here, which makes sense to me, and I should expect the same kind of thing to happen in your overall markets. So that this is what you get. Uh, early warning signs. You can sometimes you can track oil with to spot it. Sometimes you can track. Um, other commodities but ultimately you want to be looking for these rolling over when you've got gold making new highs oils making new highs uh, the major indexes all everything is all peaked out together something's got to give you can't just everything's going to go up forever and we're all going to you know sing kumbaya it, it doesn't work like that so reality is something's got to shake loose here so you can position yourself how you see fit ultimately i don't ever want to be blindly long anything in this market um, everything is looking like she needs to be pulling back down to uh, consolidate. That makes sense to me. So if I were long anything, which I'm not, I would definitely keep a tight stop on that and be looking for a better entry opportunity if you wanted to be long something. Okay, very cool, very simple. And let's move on to the uh, U.S. markets. Okay, quick look here at the Nasdaq. You'll notice we have the hangman candlestick formation. Uh, still have not even taken this out or tested it. So we're not even moving anything major here. We had a uh, lower series of highs going all the way back here. All right, just keep on going and going. And then we finally broke out. You have this one here, but the move is on all kinds of nasty gaps up, up on uh, low volume. And there's substantial size in the, of the gap as well. It's, it's problematic. And you've got several up here as well. So you really have a hard time getting anybody interested in buying this level simply because you're overextended by conditions uh, signaled by the slow stodge. You want to, if you're going to be a buyer, you're going to do it down here. All right. So you don't have that availability to you. And now if you're you know, looking for anybody to buy this market, you have to ask them to ignore all of these problems, the overbought conditions, the sell signals, and it's it's just a lot to people to to you know chew on there. So there's just not a lot of buy interest in this market. And this is also confirmed by the low volume. So ultimately, we're still seeing this thing is topping out right here. We don't see any change. Uh, it's taking its sweet time about it, but there's really no change here. Uh, stay on the bearish side of the NASDAQ. The quick, uh, really easy uh, to spot that. Okay, we've also been watching this MACD uh, moving averages here. They were preparing for a crossover a few days ago. Got a bump up to the upside on the uh, news out of Japan on their uh, messing with their currency. But again, we're, we're pulling back over here and just we'll probably cross over to the bear side tomorrow unless some kind of major news comes out and gives the market another boost. Ultimately, this is a peaking sign. You're looking for this to roll over and move to the downside just like it did back here. Okay. Okay, a quick look here at the S&P 500. Again, same basic scenario as your uh, NASDAQ. Lots of gaps in it. All kinds of really nasty chart here. You don't want to be a buyer of this. It's going to collapse. Uh, we've already in short right here. Get the tools out. <clears throat> right here, we added. And now it's time to do so again. Once you've already got this signal right here in play, and that is the shooting star formation, you've got the sell signal. You, you don't need uh, any other... Uh, all other things are in play and once you get that signal there you, you can go ahead and, and short now it's a matter of where you want to leg in or scale in so we're already in here and here makes sense to me to add there so I'm going to go ahead and do that let me clean that up and right there okay right there 
Hangman formation, again, another sell signal and above the slow stodge 80 line, which is where you should be looking for your short opportunities, not your long opportunities. It makes perfect sense to me. Lots of gaps down here to fill. And again, the same MACD bearish crossover forming like we saw on the NASDAQ. Quick look here at Canada TSX. You'll notice we're still inside this formation. It is a bearish wedge or rising wedge pattern. Got good selling today. Uh, on the gold sell-off and again there was a good volume behind the sell-off as well still have this bearish divergence here and here here and here telling you this thing is not true so you want to look for it to break down which was what the formation itself will be telling you anyway you look for it to fall at the bottom there just a matter of time tick tock tick tock again you'll notice the volume in the latter half of this formation right here is substantially stacked in favor of bears okay so well here 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 all right, the only buying activity you had was right in here, right there, okay? There it makes sense, here it doesn't. You should be covering or taking out your uh, long positions here and going short at that point. Quick look here at the Dow Jones Industrial Average. You've got a spinning top or a doji formation here, which we prefer. Neither one of them is showing a bullish move to the upside. You are finding support very weak support right there on that previous high so that's what you're basically sitting on the last two days and the activity is still it's up against that wall is that glass ceiling it's, conditions are no longer in over uh, oversold conditions you don't have that uh, really easy bounce signal available like you did back here you don't have that anymore and at the same time you're still getting those bearish divergence formations that you've uh, talked about for a while here for the past uh, couple of weeks maybe and it's confirmed on the RSI all these signals are telling us that this move to the upside any move to the upside is false and it's gonna have to fall apart so uh, the main thing here is do not fall for that I don't care if it pushes up I don't care if it pushes up for a week don't fall for it if the technicals don't support that move to the upside it's not something you can trust to put your money on plain and simple okay if you've not been to our free website at perfectstockalert.com it's right there it's 100 percent free it's totally cool there's lots of cool people there and we invite you all there all we ask in return please refer a friend a quick look at our disclaimer the disclaimer read it and weep god bless take care i'll see you all in friday's video